Hi guys, now we've done a few different chords on the beginner section, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in our first song and we're going to try and play uh, Wild Rover, which is a traditional song, um, a lot of people will know versions by the Dubliners or the Pogues, um, it's considered to be kind of a classic Irish tune, although it's originally English um, in its origin, but because it's associated with those guys it's, it's thought of as more of an Irish tune, it's really just a drinking song effectively. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do it as the first song we're going to look at in this beginner section. So let's go through the chords and then we'll go through the rhythm and the chord sequence and we'll put it all together. So the first chord is going to be a G. We've also got a C. And we've got a D7. And then we're going to have a D as well. Okay, so those are the four chords we've got in this song. And the rhythm is going to be down, down, up, down, up, okay? Because this song is actually in three, four. So it's going to be one, two, and three, and, okay? So what I'll do here is just have a little cut. Okay, so that's the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up. So that's what we're going to do for the whole song. We're not going to change the strumming pattern at all. So well, let's go through the chord sequence. We're going to start with three bars of G. So it's going to be down, down, up, down, up three times. Let's do that. Then I'm going to go to C for two bars. Then one bar of G. Two bars of D7 and then two bars of G. So that's a 10 bar sequence, which is gonna be the verse. We're actually gonna play that through twice for the whole, then that's the whole verse, okay? And each verse is exactly the same chord sequence, okay? So let me just play that through for you, so. One, two, three. Second time through. Okay, so hopefully if you've gone through my videos or you can you can find my videos on the chords, I'll put links in the description so you can practice the chords first and then you can practice that little bit of rhythm and then you can try and put it together and you've got that verse sequence. So let's, let's start with the chorus chord sequence. We're gonna start with four bars of D major, okay? And then we're gonna go G to C, so two bars of G, two bars of C, two bars of G, two bars of C, two bars of D7, and then finally two bars of G to end it. So let me play that through nice and slowly for you. And that's the whole chorus. What you'll hear in a couple of different versions, particularly in the Dubliners version, is you'll hear a little clapping bit um, or a tapping bit on that first D chord. So it'd be like this. Okay, so what that is, is I'm gonna go through and do um, basically three times through of the D chord. to do the first down and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap or you can clap 
the next three beats. So we've just done the first beat of the fourth bar of the chorus. So beat two I'm going to tap, and beat three I'm going to tap, and then I'm also going to tap the first beat of what would be a G chord. Okay, and then I'm going to start by going down, up, down, up. Okay, so let me do that again slowly. Etc. Et and the rest of the chorus is exactly the same. So that is the strumming pattern for this song. Okay, really, really, really simple song. Um, and it's a good first song to learn on the guitar um, because it's a really good fun one. As an added little extra, this is what I do as the intro. I'm going to play. And what this is is this is the melody line from the song. So it also helps people kind of get the key and, and helps them sing along. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the first bar we're gonna play open G string, then second fret G string, and then open G string. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna play second fret D string, then I'm gonna play open D, open G, open B, second fret G string, open B string, first fret B string. Okay, so let me go through that really slowly so you can hear it and see it. Open G, second fret, open. Then on the D string, second fret. Then I'm gonna play open D, open G, open B, second fret G, open B, first fret B, okay? What I'm doing there is I'm also using my middle finger for the second fret and my first finger for the first fret. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me practice of using all my fingers. Okay, so it's another thing I like to do when, I'm, when I've got um, beginner students. Okay, so the second part we're going to start with open B, uh, first fret B, then I'm going to play third fret on the B with my ring finger, then open B string, then third fret B string again, again with my ring finger, don't need to vibrato it, I'm just doing that without even thinking about it. And then what I'm going to do is play 1st fret B string, 2nd fret G string, 4th fret D string with my pinky, okay, that little cool little um, triad, then open D string, then 4th fret on the G, 2nd fret on the G with my middle finger now, then open G. Okay, so it's a nice intro to the song, it's a nice melody line, and you can play it if, you're, if you've got a second guitar player playing the chords, you can play the melody line along with the lyrics. Um, but it's also a good way to practice using all our fingers because we get to use them all. So I'll do it one more time a little bit faster. And then you're straight in basically to the, uh, to the verse there. So that's the whole song. So nice, simple um, beginner song with a little bit of extra stuff in there to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more difficult. Um, I hope you enjoy it. As usual, please uh, like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel, um, comment on the video as well. Um, it really, really helps if you do that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Um,